Taser is best known for, obviously, its namesake. Um, how is Axon different? I know you've called it a game changer. Yeah, well, we believe that, uh, well, one thing we've learned from our core business with tasers is that there's a lot of controversy around police work, and it usually revolves around uncertainty. What really happened? What did that officer really do? Well, if we give officer a video camera, we believe that it will be the most powerful weapon in their arsenal to defend themselves in terms of what they actually did and defend themselves from false claims. Well, walk us through. How does this work? I'm seeing sunglasses and a, ca a little camera attachment and a phone. Yep. So, uh, so this is the Axon Flex. It's just a few ounces. It's a camera with a magnetic attachment. Fits seamlessly with Oakley sunglasses or things like this collar mount that I'm wearing. So this will record up to 14 hours of video. Uh, so uh, it can buffer for a full shift. And the officer, then if they want to review that video, they can just use any uh, smart device, Android or any of the Apple products we can stream the video from the camera to the phone and by the end of the year we'll be able to stream the video from the phone out to you know the police chief would be able to watch it from uh, you know back from headquarters. Now, have you gotten any sort of pushback or what's the reaction been with police enforcement having to wear something like this? Uh, most officers love it uh, because if you ever talk to an officer uh, they'll tell you I've yet to meet a police officer who's not been accused of something they didn't do. You know, they're getting criticized constantly. And so what this does is this protects the officer and it protects the public by, by basically bringing a new level of transparency. Officers can record what they're doing and now there's no guesswork, no he said, she said about what really happened. Well, you're talking about streaming. Where does this information go? Because you have that back end angle, the yeah. evidence angle. Well, it turns out the hard part isn't the camera. The hard part is what do you do with a police department that's generating potentially millions of videos each year? So we've provided a hosted solution called evidence.com you could sort of think of it like iTunes for cops, uh, where, but instead of them downloading music and movies, they're taking all of this information that they're recording, and that's got to be securely stored. You've got a, all sorts of legal requirements, because this isn't just home video, this is evidence. So it's got to meet these rigid federal standards, and that's really hard for most police departments to do if they had to go out and build their own data centers. But we can have a police agency live this afternoon. All they need is an internet connection, and this camera is smart enough to connect to the cloud and securely encrypt and upload that information to a, a massively scalable backend called Evans.com. And this is very, this is fairly new. You were just saying this is two weeks. Uh, this camera system we just announced two weeks ago, and we already have a number of agencies, including Mesa and Fort Worth, and the Bay Area Rapid Transit was the first police department to give these to every officer. About uh, approximately um, how much does this particular product account for total revenue for Taser? Uh, well, given it's less than two weeks old, uh, the, the revenue, uh, you know, we don't really have revenue numbers in the public yet, mm -hmm. but we do know this, that the market for this technology uh, has the opportunity to be about 10 times larger than our core business that we're in today. And we see ourselves in the, with the opportunity to revolutionize law enforcement again, where this time it's about bringing trust and transparency back to the relationship between police and the community. Now, Rick, before you go, I've got to ask you this. This one, this one came out. Are you familiar with UTB, the future sport? This is the, this is the rugby and soccer sport where they're using tasers and whatnot. Uh, well, they're, they're just using stun guns okay. uh, in that, so that is not an officially sanctioned use of our brand, and they've been notified of that.